Hi guys and welcome to this new lecture. This is Loai with you from aeschoolonline.com. In this lecture, we are going to explore the repeater and we are going to look at two major concepts. First, how does the repeater work in After Effects? And second, how to create animations that you can repeat and never go back and make a mistake. Cool. Let's create a new composition here and we call this composition a repeater. Simply, we are at uh, 1280 by 720 and the duration is 7 seconds. That's okay with us. I will click OK. Let's create a shape. I will take a simple rectangle. Just dump the rectangle here. It has a stroke of 6. That's okay. No fill. Fine. I will come to the rectangle and through my habit, the position should be 0, 0. This rectangle is very big. I will come to the rectangle path and say, okay, make it 75. And it is not a square. So I will remove the chain link and put another 75 here. And I have a square 75 by 75. Let's close the rectangle. Now I have contents and inside contents there is a rectangle. I can add the repeater inside the contents or inside a rectangle one. For now, let's add it inside the contents and see exactly how it works. If I choose repeater, a repeater one, of course you can have several repeaters, will be inserted inside contents and it will repeat everything that is above it, that is rectangle one in this case, three times. This is the default with a hundred pixel difference between the first and the second anchor point. If I create another shape, for example, here, I take an ellipse and I create it inside the shape layer. Now I have repeated everything that is above, that is the rectangle one and the ellipse one. From here, you understand that the repeater will repeat everything that is above it within the content. If I take ellipse and drop it under the repeater, then the ellipse is not repeated, as you can notice here. So I will take the ellipse and put it back on top. Fine. Now I can add the repeater within the contents. That's very fine. And it will repeat everything that's above. We know that already. But also I can add the repeater inside a shape group. So rectangle one, if you remember, is a shape group. And inside it, I can put many other shapes. I will take the repeater, drag it and drop it inside rectangle one. In this case, you notice the ellipse is not repeated. When you drop the repeater inside a shape group, there will be no repeat for the other shape groups or the other shapes above or under it. It really doesn't matter. So now the repeater will only act on whatever is inside this shape group rectangle one where the repeater is. And it will work on all the animations that you will do inside rectangle one. So that is the major concept. Understand that the repeater will repeat whatever is inside the shape group or whatever inside the contents. If I take it out to content, it will repeat all of them and it will repeat everything that is above it. Let's delete the ellipse and let's look at the repeater. I will open the repeater and it has several parameters that we want to look at before we start animating anything. The first parameter is number of copies and you can have many copies as many as you want, for example, six or a hundred or whatever. But what's most interesting is you can animate the number of copies. I will not wait to show you that. I will show you immediately. I will keyframe here, put the number of copies to zero, come to one second. Of course, we always do them at one second slow so we can see and put it at six. So now I have a very simple animation. If you notice, six are coming in. I will reduce the work area to two seconds by taking the lat timeline indicator to two seconds and pressing N. Come back to the beginning and play. You notice it's a quite beautiful animation here, just they're coming up. So this is animating the copies. The offset, it's very easy to use. Let's go over here. Here I have the original one, that is a rectangle one. And then it has been repeated six times, including itself. If I come and say, okay, make it minus one. So rectangle one now will skip and become number two. If I put minus two, then rectangle one, that is the initial one, will become in the third position and there are two, minus two, behind it. If I use one, then rectangle one will disappear. In fact, it will skip one. If I put two, it will skip two. It will skip itself and another one. That's for your info. It is not really very useful and in very special cases you can use. Put it back to zero. Now composite, it's a very easy one. Either you put the repeated shapes above each other or below each other. 
Usually it's below, it will work fine unless you have some fancy animation you're doing. Let's look at transform repeater and the key here is all in the transform repeater. If I've opened the transform repeater, you have all the properties that you can animate from anchor point, position, scale, rotation, start opacity and end opacity. So if you want the position to be repeated, you will give it a value. Here we have a value of 100. This is the initial value of the repeater and is the default one, meaning that the initial one is at position zero. This is a rectangle one. The first repeated one is at 100 pixels like in the position from the initial one. And the second one is at 100 pixel from the previous one. And the third one is at 100 pixel from the previous one. So actually it is a relative increment of 100 pixels. If I click on my layer and move it over here, you can see this very clearly using the scale. I will just put 105% to show you. Now notice what's happening here. Let's press Alt and zoom in. The first one is 100%, that's the initial one. The second one is 105% of the first one. The third one is 105% of the previous one and so on. The last one here will be maybe 150% of the first one. Cool, let's return it to 100. Now we understand the concept of the repeaters, the number of copies, the transforming repeaters. This is what we are going to use to decide what is going to be repeated, which property here is going to be re repeated. In the next lecture, we look at the concept of creating animations that can be repeated. See you then.